um i got into fitness for the most part i would say by chance mm. really not it's not like there was anything specific where i wanted to it wasn't like i looked at the scale and thought holy shit like i am way too fat and i need to change something about it like i'm not getting what i want mm. but i sort of started going to the so my parents moved into a new house like when i came in for summer vacation in 2013 mm. and i started going to the gym down there simply because i thought i needed to look i am going to try like lifting weights and see what happens um i ended up enjoying going for that hour in the gym um on a daily basis it just felt good i wasn't really making great diet choices even then like i would train for an hour i would do whatever i thought whatever i could think of and then i would go and eat a pizza every day It's because mm-hmm. i thought like that's the only way to build muscle um once i got into once i came back to college i still wanted to continue going to the gym and that's when i met varun as well who told me like you need to do your cardio you need to train and this is how you'll end up like changing yourself mm. i did it the first few times i started seeing the scale go down and honestly i just fell in love with it like i just fell in love with the feedback that i was getting from my body and then i also fell in love with just like training at the gym and being with friends and just the whole idea of like focusing on yourself and just the 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 pump that like lifting gives you hmm. and um the focus and like all the different things you feel like when you're lifting so i i i fell in love with that and that's pretty much where i started and i realized like i want to see or i i want i started thinking about where or how far i could take this hmm. so what i would do was i had a mirror um on my cupboard where i would write down the weight every morning hmm. and i had a goal weight of like this is what i want to be like so i i think i started writing it on the mirror like when i first started i was 95 mm. and then on the mirror uh, the last number that i wanted was 74 and i charted a path down and every morning i would wake up and see like okay, how far have i reached <laughs> so every day that was my motivation to like just do it i just wanted to see that scale go down and i started feeling better i started feeling more confident about myself um and that culminated like into a really great like winter vacation where I came back home none of the clothes that I used to wear before were good enough like they were all baggy and loose like people looked at me and were like holy hell like who are you like we don't know who you are and I bought these like fitting clothes and I looked like a completely different person yeah and that motivation carried into like 2014 and 2015 where I started getting a little bit more deep into uh the deep into fitness like trying to figure out how else I can push myself um since then it's just pretty much been a part of my life like i don't think about i can't think about a day where i don't work out or do something hmm. it's just physical activity has become very important to me um even through like so we've been through a bunch of different like lockdowns in the last year um gyms open for like barely 3 months and stuff but even without the gyms pretty much i cannot i feel like my day is not right if i don't do some sort of physical activity Nice. So in the first few months it was like doing some high intensity cardio um then in between I was doing some sort of like beach body programs where they would like oh no sorry I was skipping rope like I would do uh and this was like early in the year and then nowadays I pretty much just go for a walk every morning which is what we were talking about before we started recording I just feel like um my mindset like i i'm able to get myself into the mindset for the day to get things moving and i feel um pretty much good like when i get some sort of workout in yeah so that, that's pretty much where it is and now i have like other larger goals that i want to pursue and that's where um i want to reach i haven't been able to stay ripped and lean all through the year so this is one of the bigger goals that i want to work towards nice you know and you know like sandish i know like one of the things that um, that's coming to me from what you're sharing is this idea of you know fitness also being like a lifestyle and a philosophy yeah. right it's not just about you know doing weights on a consistent basis but it's also about eating well and sleeping well but then thinking about the mental health consequences of being fit right yeah. you know when you take care of your health you're generally feeling good about who you are yeah. and 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 what you're doing and when you spoke about the pandemic like one of the things that kept me sane in a lot of ways during the pandemic was developing my own understanding of what fitness is for me yeah you know and a lot of people look at you know fitness as 
you, you look at a product like somebody that's extremely fit and you feel like I want to get there tomorrow. But I think it's so important to understand what sort of journey you feel most strongly about. For instance, I really enjoy playing a sport to stay fit in terms of the cardio and then doing some weights and, you know, and it's obviously not as intense as yours, but I feel like that's where I am at now with my journey and hopefully I can get it to another stage, you know, in, in the, in the coming months. But, you know, I, I feel like this is something that you can control in your life, right? Your health yeah. and your personal well-being, and the fact that you were able to invest uh, those that sort of time in it, you know, speaks a lot about your dedication to constantly improve on an individual yeah. basis. And you know, if you think about the feedback loop for coding and fitness, right? You 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 instantly get those results and see that if something's not working, you know why it's not working, and then you debug and you try and make it work. But even with fitness, you know, like. Some days you need to know that you can't push too hard because your body isn't reacting. Yeah. So you need to calm down and give it some rest, right? So yeah. that, that feedback loop works both ways. But, yeah. you know, but thanks for sharing that story about your fitness journey. Again, and I want to be respectful of time. Can we go on for about five minutes or so, Sandeep? Yeah, Is yeah, for okay? sure. I have plenty of time. But I just wanted to go back really quick. Like you brought up some really, really great points. Um, fitness is a lifestyle. Like it's definitely something that you have to dedicate yourself to. Yeah. It's not something that you do for six months and then be like, okay, now I'm going to do whatever I want and everything will be fine. Yeah. Um, and because it's a lifestyle, you have to find out what is comfortable for you. What is the, what you enjoy doing so that you can keep doing it. Yeah. For me, it is lifting weights. For me, it is like doing any sort of like physical activity. Like I honestly don't mind doing anything as long as it gets me moving. But there are some people who enjoy running or there are some people who enjoy walking or cycling or anything like that. So you have to find out like what works for you so you can keep doing it. It's the same thing for the diet as well. Like there's a lot of people who say things like a keto diet is the thing that will get you ripped or help you like maintain it throughout or like balanced diet or paleo or whatever. Like honestly, it's just about finding the foods that you love and making sure that you can have those on a, on a repeated basis. Hmm. Um, and the other important thing that you brought up was about, um, I think you mentioned something along the lines of like the foundations, right? So I think it's, I very strongly believe that if you don't have the foundations to like do some sort of physical activity right now, like as you are, I'm assuming all the listeners are like 20 year old, 20 year olds, but if you don't set up those foundations right now, it'll be very difficult to bring those into your life as you, as you grow older. Mm. Like you see this in a lot of people where they don't end up like um, doing any sort of physical activity whatsoever, like in their forties and fifties. And it's simply because they never did that before. But if you start now and you maintain it, you'll be able to keep a healthy body and uh, keep a healthy body for a long time.